Pleiadian Light Grid Special Report. I'm Larry Locken. As some of you may know, we've been reporting on our love and our appreciation in a few shows we've done lately about the tobacco gods. We've done meditations in honor of the tobacco gods. We've praised the tobacco gods. We've talked about our love for tobacco. And the tobacco gods have shared their love with us and shared their energy with us. But I'm afraid at this hour, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that the tobacco gods are a little bit disappointed in us. They're disappointed in us Americans especially. They're really disappointed because we've become a nation that has become anti-smoking. We have become a nation that has become against the powers of nicotine and the powers of tobacco and the greatness and the power and the beautiful aroma and disease carrying essence that spreads when you're allowed to smoke it indoors in restaurants per se. It's been a slow, slow movement. It's been a been slow, slow movement by the anti-tobaccoers. A movement and agenda that is trying to take over the world as we know it. These non-smoking agenda movement, tobaccoers, non-tobaccoers, are really the hidden secret reason that nobody talks about for the moral decay in America and wiping out the middle class in America. Not being able to smoke anymore in grocery stores and in department stores and even have a smoking section in a restaurant, much less we know that it is their constitutional right to be able to smoke anywhere they are. Anywhere. As long as they're not burning anybody with that cigarette, they have the right. Nobody has the right not to. And that beautiful aroma, that smoke, that smoke, people should have it in their house just to simulate. But ladies and gentlemen, the tobacco gods are really disappointed in us. And they are urging everybody. The tobacco gods want you to get up, get out there, get petitions going. We need to get rid of, we need to not only get rid of non-smoking sections, it, we need to not only in, reinstall smoking in all restaurants everywhere, in all places, we need to completely get rid of non-smoking sections. Non-smoking sections, I don't care whether they're in casinos, restaurants, bars, any place you go, a non-smoking section is unconstitutional. It is, and we also want to get a petition going to make sure that we can start smoking in the library, because ladies and gentlemen, the Tobacco Gods and the Cigarette Collective, they showed me a really, really bleak picture, how this non-smoking tobacco or anti-tobacco or non-smoking agenda, whatever you want to call these, whatever you want to call these radicals, these radical people that have tried to say they've taken away our rights, our creator given rights to smoke tobacco, to puff and puff and puff and huff and puff. And if we blow your house down, well, we're sorry. We just, we had to smoke. We had to smoke and we love our cigarettes and the tobacco gods, ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to say that People better get out there and start signing these petitions. Call your senators. Call your congressmen. Write to your local representatives. Call your mayor. Call city hall. Call your friends. Call your neighbors. Call Betty. Call Dave. Call Lou. Call Bob. Please, I urge you, everybody, get out there for these, for the tobacco gods and the cigarette collective before they're even disappointed anymore. We don't want to let them down. We don't want to let them down. I urge you. Reinstate smoking in all grocery stores, department stores. It doesn't matter. Throw your butts on the floor. That'll just be more help, better for the economy. We can hire more, give somebody a job to clean that, clean those up at the end of the day. The cigarette butts alone, but get out there. Come on, Bob, Paul, John, Mary, get out there. Please, we need you to get out there. Now get out there, you idiots. Get out there. Get out there and call. Get out there and call your representative to do something before the tobacco gods really, really get mad and get their feelings hurt. Please, please, we beg of you. Now get it, get out there and do it. Get out there and call. And ask that we have smoking rights reinstalled everywhere and included in everywhere. There's nowhere inside anywhere you should be able to go and not be able to smoke a cigarette. Nowhere. Anywhere should have to bend for that. So ladies and gentlemen, embrace. The tobacco gods want to remind you again to embrace. Embrace the... Embrace the smoke. They wanted me to light one up real quick here for us here. Of course, we only do it the natural way here. Like I said before, we take and rub our... Oh, we take 
can rub two sticks together like the old, like in nature. Oh, see you here. Here, give me that. The tobacco gods love you. The tobacco gods have your best interest at heart. The tobacco gods want to see you flourish and nourish and grow and smoke as much tobacco as you possibly can and stay away from that false hide that other green like substances that grow out you don't want to smoke that that stuff that stuff called the cannabis is very bad terrible gateway drug and plus it gets you that false pleasure with tobacco you can smoke as much as you want nothing and the tobacco gods want to remind you again it is an urgent. It is urgent. That's why we broke in with this special light grid report. The tobacco gods are going to be watching. The cigarette collective, the cigarette soul collective is staying here watching from the etheric level. And nicotine souls are all around watching humanity to see if they make the right move here, especially in the United States and in Western countries where there are a lot of smoking laws now and we want that to go away and we must abolish we must once and for all abolish the minimum age to buy cigarettes it is a it should not matter if you've got the money and can walk up to a counter and ask for a pack you should be able to buy a pack in fact we need vending machines of them schools colleges cafeterias we urge you ask call your politicians again call your representatives Call your senators, call your congressmen, call the mayor, call the governor, call the president, call Congress, call Mary, call Bob, call Fred, call Jim, call Dave, call Tom, call Dick, call Sue, call Ellen, call everybody. Get them out there. Get them out there. Get the cigarette machines out there. Get them out there. Exactly. And we should be happy to the tobacco gods for giving us this for dirt cheap. The poor tobacco companies, like we've stated, are broke. They make no money. I don't know how Philip Morris and legends like that and Marlboro and Camel can stay in business. It's a shame. Get out there, you people. The least you can do is get rid of these ridiculous laws. Abolish the minimum smoking age. Abolish prohibiting smoking anywhere. There's nowhere in the atmosphere of Earth you should be able to walk and not be able to sit there and puff and puff and puff on a cigarette of your liking. And with that, well, just remember the Tobacco Collective will be watching and this is Larry Locken. This has been a special report from the Pleiadian Lightbird Project.